So some people ask, what is what is Good Friday? What's so good about Good Friday? Why do we call Good Friday good when it's such a dark day of suffering and death for Jesus? Good Friday is a Friday before Easter. And it's the Christian holy day to celebrate the crucifixion of Jesus and his death at Calvary. It's also known as Holy Friday, Great Friday, Great and Holy Friday, or and Black Friday. For Christians, Good Friday is a crucial day of the year because it celebrates what we believe to be the most important weekend in the history of the world. Ever since uh, Jesus died and was raised from the dead, Christians have declared the cross and resurrection of Jesus to be the key turning point for creation. Paul considered it to be of first importance that Jesus died for our sins, was buried and raised to life on the third day. In all accordance with what God had promised in the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. On Good Friday, we remember the day Jesus willingly, willingly, because he didn't have to, suffered and died by crucifixion and was the ultimate sacrifice for our sins, 1 John 1 and 10. It is followed by Easter, or for Christians, Resurrection Sunday, the celebration of the day Jesus was raised from the dead, proclaiming his victory over our sin and death and pointing ahead, pointing ahead to the future resurrection for all who are united to him by faith. Romans 6 and 5. So why call the day of Jesus death Good Friday instead of Bad Friday or Sorrowful Friday? Because the suffering and death of Jesus, as terrible as it was, marked the end of God's plan to save his people from their sins. In order for the good news of the gospel to have meaning for us, we first have to understand the bad news of our condition as sinful people. Amen? The good news of deliverance only makes sense once we see how we are enslaved to sin. Another way of saying it is that it is important to understand and distinguish between law and gospel in scripture. We need the law first to show us how hopeless our condition was without the Holy Spirit. Then the gospel of Jesus, Jesus' grace comes and brings us relief and salvation and a promise of eternal life. In the same way, Good Friday is good because as terrible as it was that day, it had to happen for us to receive the joy of Easter or as we say, the resurrection. The wrath of God against sin had to be poured out on Jesus because he was our perfect sac sac sacrificial substitute in order for forgiveness and salvation to be poured out to the world. Without that awful, horrible day of suffering and sorrow and the bloodshed at the cross, God, God could not be both just and justifier of those who trust in Jesus. Romans 3 and 26. The day of his death as mean and evil and brutal, as brutal, much abuse to his body was God's glorious plan to redeem the world from bondage. The cross is where we see the great suffering and God's forgiveness, Psalms 85 and 10, sings of a day when righteousness and peace will kiss each other. And Lord, I'm waiting for that. At the cross, was where God demands his righteousness along with his mercy. It's where we receive divine forgiveness, mercy, and peace because 
Jesus willingly took our divine punishment, the result of God's righteousness against sin. For the joy set before him, Hebrews 12 and 2. Jesus endured the cross on Good Friday, <coughs> excuse me, knowing it led to his resurrection, our salvation, and the beginning of God's regime of righteous, righteousness and peace. Good Friday marks the day when wrath and mercy met at the cross. Wrath and mercy met at the cross. That's why Good Friday is so dark yet so good. Amen. Romans 5 6 to 10 says, You see, just the right time when we are still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person. Though for, for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. You know, as we say, that's my brother, that's my sister, I die for them. But yet, somebody put a gun in their face, they're the first one, uh-uh, not me. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? Amen. While we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son. How much more have we been reconciled? Shall we be saved through this life? Thank you, Jesus, for staying up on that cross because he could have came down. 1 Peter 2 and 24 says, He himself bore our sins and his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53 3 and 5 says, He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hid their faces, he was despised. And we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our sufferings, yet consider him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, transgress, transgressions, I'm sorry. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his stripes, we are healed. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that who, who Whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. That's why we ask for everything in Jesus' name. Mark 9 and 31 says, For his teaching, his disciples, which is us, we are his disciples, saying to them, the son, of man, the son of Man is going to be delivered in the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, he will rise. Thank you, Jesus, for your life, death, burial, and resurrection, for our sins and for giving us the opportunity for everlasting life. On this day, I'm wishing you all a blessed and beautiful Good Friday with the hope that God's great love will remain unchanged for you. Make the most of this Good Friday with family and prayers. And I'm praying to, praying to God that he keeps you safe always and surrounds your life with eternal love and happiness. In Jesus' name I pray, wishing you a happy, holy, good Friday. God bless you all.